you remember in chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians, Paul mentions the divisions in the church in Corinth. In chapter 2, he deviates, and now we're in chapter 3, where he continues about that division. He said when he came to Corinth, he, he couldn't teach them meteor theology. He had to give them milk because he noticed that they were not yet ready. And you remember he said that when he came to Corinth, he did not get engaged in any philosophy, in any ideas. All he talked about was Jesus Christ and him crucified. So here in chapter 3, he's saying, I see that you are still not ready for meat. You are still immature. You are still babies. I still have to feed you with milk. He said, if you were ready, you will not be saying, I am Team Paul. I am Team Cephas. I am Team Apollos. I am Team Oyedepo. I am Team Kumuyi. I am Team Adeboyi. He said, who are these people that you are all fighting about? They are servants. God's servants. They are your servants. They are there to serve you, not to be served. And you remember when the disciples were arguing amongst each other, who is the greatest, who is the greatest? What did Jesus say? Don't be like the Gentiles who try to lord it over others. You are here to serve. So there's no like who is the greatest. You are servants of God. So here um, Paul is now writing to them. He said, by the grace of God, when I came to Corinth, I laid the foundation and I left. And then Apollos started watering it. But who gives the increase? God gives the increase. He said, all these people you are fighting for, they are yours. Everything is yours. Life is yours. Death is yours. This world is yours. Everything is yours. So you should not be babies fighting over uh, um, this and um, that, causing division in the body of Christ. Is Christ divided? And then he said that whoever lays upon the foundation that he, he laid initially, they have to, it has to be the word of God. It has to be Jesus Christ. They cannot start building something different. They cannot start building a different religion on top of that foundation. All our works will be tested. So there are some churches that the, the foundation did start on Jesus Christ. The person who founded that church was passionate about Jesus. But along the way, they deviated. Maybe because people were not coming to the church. It wasn't full. So they went to some fetish priest to get powers. So when they use it in the church, then um, people started coming. They use fake uh, stuff. You see miracles, which are not uh, right miracles, you know, negative things. So that's what they started building on top of that foundation that was laid, which was initially about Jesus. Paul is saying that all those things that are laid on, on top will be tested. If it is, it will all be tested in fire. If it is good, you will get a reward. If it is bad, it will be burnt. So everybody should, you know, look at what they are doing. So if you are in a church, you need to, to look at the foundation. What was that foundation laid on? You know, sometimes you can ask about their statements of faith or whatever. You read it. What do they believe? in this church and when you re read it you then have to look at the fruits in the church do they really practice what they have written down or is it just words to lure people to the church so anything laid upon the foundation that paul laid has to be about jesus christ and not another religion remember when he said that if you preach another gospel which he has not preached i think he told the galatians he said, may it be anathema, that, that person will be condemned. Even if it is him, Paul, even if it is an angel who came down and preached to you another gospel, may they be condemned. You see, this is a Paul's passion. He said, if you need to boast in anybody, boast in God. Don't boast in Paul. Don't boast in Cephas. Don't boast in Apollos. Boast in the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. God bless you.